Oh man, look at my beautiful son sitting over there with his iPad. I wonder what kind of videos he's watching. I bet it's some educational and high quality content. What the hell? I think it's safe to say that we are currently living in the renaissance of shit content. I mean, we've got people like Neon, Jack Doherty, Fusi, Aiden Ross, Sneeko, all of whom have come together for a single mission, and that is to bring the maximum brain damage to the newest generation. And of course, this also applies to YouTube Kids content. Now, even though Elsa Gate is not technically as big of a threat as it was back in 2017, it is slowly beginning to reemerge and crawl back into the mainstream. And recently, while going through the cesspit that is Twitter, I discovered something that I can't even describe using vocabulary, so I think it's best if I just show it to you. Mental sickness. I think you can probably understand why I said I can't describe this video using vocabulary, because I lost so many brain cells, I don't even know what that word means. This is Mr. Klabek, a YouTuber with over 4 million subscribers, who I believe has stage 4 brain cancer, and wants to make the rest of humanity suffer by passing down his condition onto every single one of us. And the only way he can do that is by making... I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be. And what I thought I'd do is go against my better judgment and react to some of this guy's videos. Because I, I honestly have no idea. I think subconsciously I might be a masochist. Okay, so first question I want to ask. Why did this guy feel the need to hire Pitch's voice to sound like a fucking minion on cocaine? Where was the necessity? You can simply hire Pitch your voice out like this. And you can you can do it now. Actually, you, you don't need to make this annoying and unnecessary editing technique. It's just, th th there's so many questions flowing through my head right now. Why did he make this video? Why did he even become a YouTuber? Why wasn't he drowned at birth? It's just so many questions and I can't make sense of any of them. Oh. Don't touch ice cream or I punished you. Understand? I do understand that some people need to do what it takes to pay the bills, some become prostitutes, some people become McDonald's workers, but if I had to embarrass myself in front of millions of people by making this fucking content, it's not even content actually, by making this fucking slop in which I was forced to fucking wear wigs and put on makeup and basically act as a man-child, I would not be able to take it. At some point, I would actually just jump off my fucking apartment building. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember that clip from VeggieTales where the cucumber guy says, In the future, entertainment will be randomly generated. Well, that was actually a misspelling. What he meant to say was, In the future, entertainment will be degenerated. And as we can see, his prophecy came true. Now, even though Mr. Klabek might potentially be mentally impaired, He's also kind of a genius, because if you just take a quick look at some of his videos, you will see that a lot of them revolve around food. Because this guy knows that if you put a snack in the title or thumbnail, the kids are going to be like, Oh my god, Milka? Oh my god, Pringles? Oh my god, M&Ms? Holy shit, I have to click on the video! <laughs> Bruh. Uh, not don't use your finger, use this! Oh, thank you, mom! Bro, what is it with all these exaggerated facial expressions, vocal deliveries, like the higher pitching of the voice? Like, how is it necessary in the context of this video? There's tons of kids content out there that do it correctly without being annoying. So, why can't you do just that? I'm <laughs> thick. Oh, and another one. Oh, wow. Uh, take this. Oh, how long have you not cleaned your ears? Yeah, this is a uh, really informative, entertaining, and high-quality kids content. Uh, I, I don't understand why I was criticizing him earlier. It's uh, it's the greatest kids content of all time. I'm just imagining the creator of YouTube Shorts just looking at this video and then having an Oppenheimer moment. When I came to you with that TikTok competitor of ours. We thought it might start a chain reaction that would kill millions of brain cells. Yeah. What of it? I believe we did. Ma, <laughs> you eat too much sweets. I forbid you. Understand? 
you know, I would actually enjoy these videos 90% more if you did not include these retarded, exaggerated facial expressions and sound effects. Like, could someone please, like, of high media literacy in the audience explain to me why is he doing this? Is this some kind of fetish for him? Does he get sexual pleasure from this? Does he genuinely think he's making his videos entertaining and look funny? Because none of it is working. Like, unless the fucking, you know, masochism sexual part. Because I just genuinely don't understand how you could make content like this and think it's genuinely funny. Like, there is a possibility, there is a way of making kids content without being a fucking annoying little bitch. Like, just look at this guy. Look at this fucking lobotomite. He looks like Bugs Bunny if he was turned into a human, then fell into a, a fucking vat of nuclear waste, got out, then was hit by a truck, and sustained brain damage. Like, th this is how the guy looks and behaves. He's just... Just why? why? Why would you unironically, like, do this in front of millions of people? Why would you record this fucking kind of content? Why am I even calling it content at all? It's not content. It is a fucking abomination. An abomination on the face of YouTube that should be erased. And this guy should also be erased from existence. You should be carpet bombed into the next fucking universe. You know what's the worst part about this channel? It's not its content because there's much worse content out there. It's the fact that as long as negligent parents exist, there will always be channels like this and videos like this that raise a generation of iPad kids. They're not gonna see great stories play out. They're not gonna learn anything. They're simply going to become victims of brain rot. Seriously, if you're a parent and you're watching this video, do not buy your kids an iPad. This thing, yeah, it may look innocent, but it's in fact a herald of pure evil. Just put them in front of a great movie on Netflix or Prime or Hulu. You can even put on anime for them like Jujutsu Kaisen. And I can guarantee you, it may be violent, but it sure as hell will be a lot better than this fucking abomination. But anyway, guys, that is the end of this very epic commentary video. Thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on, please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm. Also, join my Discord server and follow me on the cesspit known as Twitter. Also, please don't send any hate to the guy mentioned in this video, it's just unneeded. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!